was written, Eight Calla Lilies, was written uh, during a difficult, difficult time in his life. Um, his wife kind of lost her brother rather suddenly. And so there is a lot of um, pensiveness and um, a lot of phrases that begin kind of joyfully, but then, then kind of dissipate into a sigh. And you'll hear a lot of that. Uh, what I enjoy about this piece so much is the, um, the textures, the keyboard textures that he creates. That's ours, like nothing else. Uh, James is, was formerly a flutist, but he had to stop playing due to some um, physical issues. But he used to uh, tour around and uh, as as young jazz player with Anthony Davis, who wrote the last piece on tonight's program, and the two of them were really you know the top, the top of the heap in the 70s and toured the world together. So this piece, um, he's very open about his influences, as many of them were. Uh, many of the scores or the program notes say. I was inspired by Jerry Allen, or I was inspired by Bud Powell. And this, in, in fact, has places where he says, like Monk, like Thelonious Monk, or like Bud Powell. So, um, and he threw in a Bud Powell style lick at the, at the end for me because he knew that, you know, I always told him I wished that I could have been a jazz pianist. So he wrote one out, wrote a Bud Powell type lick out for him. But many of them are. Um, are reminiscent of his jazz flute playing, a lot of lines up in the upper register, which are very, very uh, like what he would have played on the flute. So this is Eight Calla Lilies. It's about a 10 minute piece. Thank you. 